We are going to get started this morning, and I'm going to ask that our the member for the Berkeley County Air Force Junior ROTC join us. They'll be uh, presenting the colors. We'll have the pledge. Ms. Name is 
Ron Stevens, and he was excited to work with your school principals to offer this opportunity to your school. Mr. Stevens and his wife, Joette, she is a kindergarten teacher here in Berkeley County, have raised three sons that all graduated from Berkeley County Schools. And he has a few things he wants to say to you today. Ron? Good morning, everyone. Thank, thank you for your attention today. I, I know how Mondays are. I know it's a great time to catch up with your friends after the weekend. Uh, but your attention today is very important and appreciated. I uh, first would like to thank a few people myself. I want to thank Ms. Jackie Long. If you can stand up, please, uh, of our Berkeley County School Board of Education for joining us today. Thank you, Jackie. Your presence here today signals to me that our board finds great value in the Game Changer program for the students here and their entire school. So thank you for being here. I also want to thank your principal, Dr. Hatter, and her administrative team, Mr. Martin and Mr. Bennett. in the Game Changer program. Spring Mills Middle School will be the first school in Berkeley County and the first school in the entire Eastern Panhandle to participate. So congratulations on that. But it wouldn't be possible without your very own Coach Seth Eby. It's the way it goes. Game Changer is a student-powered substance misuse prevention movement. Coach Evie, your administrator team, and all the staff here at Spring Mills Middle School want this to be successful for you. As you move through middle school and the high school and your life that follows, it will be a valuable tool for you. Students, you're being given a great opportunity here for this program. I would like for you to know that I ask you please participate, learn, grow, make good choices, and be valuable members of Berkeley County's community and come back and stay here for a long time. Uh, having said that, I know there are a number of other people that would like to speak here today, but I just want to give you my heartfelt thank you. I've talked to a number of you in the hallway, and uh, it's very good to see you this morning. Thank you very much. Uh, everyone is here behind you. 
Uh, we have some people here from Game Changer that are a very integral part of our movement here. Uh, our Director of Prevention is Kim Lay. Uh, our Director of Development is Denver Allen. Uh, and uh, Paige Mathias is a prevention specialist from over here in Region 2 who has been a wonderful supporter of Game Changer, as has her entire organization of PLOs throughout the state of West Virginia. Happy birthday to Senator Blair. Uh, he's from right here. He played an influential part in the and uh, thank you very much, Senator. So, Elaine, thank you, thanks to the staff, and thank every one of you students. Cherish these moments, cherish these memories. One day you'll look back and glad you did. I'd like to also uh, introduce Kim Lake for a couple minutes. Uh, she's our director of prevention and she's the brains behind the prevention operation of Game Changers because trust me, I'm not.
Game Changers is here to change that for you. Game Changers is here to give you an opportunity for a great life and not to make the mistakes. Look, when I was sitting in the audience 50 years ago, 52 years ago, I didn't believe what the guy at the podium was telling us. I didn't listen up. I did some stupid things in my life. You're being given the opportunity through Game Changers to have a better understanding, to be able to believe and to understand that your future is yours. Like Miss West Virginia over here that does not look like she should be out of high school, but she's working on a doctorate degree. Yes. That's your future.
Each of them has achieved personal success by making good decisions. And finally, I have a great honor and privilege to introduce our governor, who along with his wife, Forever and ever and ever and ever. 
At times, people may want to criticize that, but I would tell everyone, get involved with kids. They'll make you feel better. They'll teach you great stuff. But now you've got to listen to me just one more minute. It's all there is to it. And listen to Baby Dog one more minute. And then I guess when we're done, if your teachers or principals or whomever it may be, superintendent, whomever it may be, why don't I let you kind of come down in a, in not a super fast way, but come down and say hi to Baby Dog. I'll sit right here with you and you can come say hi to Baby Dog. Now, we'll have to kind of move along because I've got other places that I've got to get to today, and she does too. And the other thing is, I tell people this all the time, she's on the same dietary program that I'm on. Now, she loves chicken nuggets. <laughs> now, stay with me. I won't be, I'll, I'll, I'll be done in one more minute. Whether it be Joe Bozick or be all the great people that are working here, you know, on game changers. Whether it be the intertwining of the, the real big effort with communities and schools and game changers, no matter what it may be, listen to me. Now listen really close. I don't want anybody talking to anybody. Don't do that. Listen really, really close to me. Because I can't tell you anything more important than just this. If you don't watch out in life, you got everything in the world in front of you, every single thing in the world in front of you right now, and it's good stuff. If you don't watch out, somebody will grab a hold of you with some level of bad stuff. And you know why they want to do that? Because misery loves company. Misery has to have more people with them. Misery wants to get you to be with them because they're lonely and they have every issue in the world. You can't do it. You can't do it. Game changers ask me to be their head coach. It's a big honor. Big honor for me. I'm going to tell you with all in you, just absolutely push it back. Stand up for who you are. For God's sake to live it, stand up. And don't let misery pull you to their side. You got a heck of a life in front of you. You got an incredible school right here in the Eastern Panhandle, Spring Mills. Spring Mills Middle School. An incredible school. Unbelievable principal. Unbelievable superintendents. You know, you've got a senator, a senate president here with us, and I don't know who all else dignitaries are here, but I am here to tell you, honest to God, you're on your way. The only, the only person that can screw this up is you. You. You're not failing your orders anymore. You can screw up your whole life forever. Baby doll would tell you if you're going to screw up your whole life, she doesn't want anything to do with you. And she loves all of you. Don't mess up your whole life. Listen, I love you with all my soul, and she does too. And I know you'll make the right decisions. It's always fun being with you, so God bless each and every one of you. I'll stop with that. Let's keep it going our way, okay? Let's win the game. Thank you.